Three weeks ago, we lost all contact with Great Britain. We were curious of course. Twelve hours after last contact, French aircraft and helicopters loaded with soldiers crossed into British airspace. These were promptly shot down by British air defense units, and all survivors were slaughtered without exception even when they tried to surrender. We were furious of course. France and the rest of NATO demanded answers. But again, radio silence. Our anger gave way to deep concern when nighttime satellite images showed British cities almost dark. We tried again. A joint naval task force, with units from France, Germany and the US, landed hundreds of soldiers along the English beaches. When they reached the first major inhabited villages, they were greeted with thousands of civilians demanding they leave. When perplexed units tried asking for answers, they were fired upon by units from the British Army, arriving to drive our troops away. The operation was called off when the US ships came under assault by the British Navy. US naval officers described the attack as almost suicidal. Following that, we gave up. Britain was blockaded, its airspace monitored, all investigation was done solely by satellites and drones, which they tried to shoot down as well. In our minds Britain had fallen prey to some horrendous internal strife, perhaps government takeover or civil war. We resolved to observe Britain until somebody from the inside could contact us. Yesterday, a red mist came wafting out of the Channel Tunnel. We had so far avoided the tunnel, as it had been close to traffic and military concerns of it being a choke point for ambush. But once again, we tried to investigate. Donning hazmat suits and in sealed vehicles, men charged into the tunnel, expecting a signal from rebels or perhaps some chemical attack from hostile forces. What they got was tens of thousands of corpses, clogging the tunnel. Their bodies formed a grisly plug, and more strangely all their heads were forcibly turned to face outwards by some force. On the floor were written four words, meter-tall letters written in blood. We're sorry, we tried. Above these words, was a hole in the plug, clearly done by something tearing its way outwards.